Ray goes in. Ginger Baker, the last to complete the line. First of the group threes, the red light is on. Set racing now in the Peters Stakes. First of them away is Weapon Sun, burning through those near the inside, Black Fantasy and also Magnificent Andy and Admiration Express. Let's Gallivant is going to settle right over the speed early and Al Safina's driving up to be right behind those in front of on the outside playing Marika. Billy Ray squeezing up near the fence. Weapon Sun dropping out, Ginger Baker last of all, Mojo Rhythm. Nearing the 1,000 metres, Admiration Express slowed them down after working her way to the lead, led three quarters of a length over Let's Gallivant, the stablemate, Black Fantasy, occupying the box seat third. Playing Marika, though, forced a tramp three deep, going around the outside in front of Magnificent Andy. Weapon Sun is going to coattail her. Over on the inside, Billy Ray Alsafina had lost a spot, but she's not much more than about four to five lengths from the leader in a packing affair. Over on the inside, Ginger Baker and Mojo Rhythm is about to take off and try and loop the field as they head by the 500. Admiration Express in front of the Peters Stakes, only a a half a length or a neck now in fact on let's gallivant no run black fantasy waiting for its tie behind the magnificent andy on its outside next of all play marika weapon sun it's starting to launch now where's al safina back behind them in a bit of a jam as well as mojo rhythm comes to the outside pike now follows it works towards the outside as mojo rhythm races up grabs the lead mojo rhythm draws away down the outside al safina mojo rhythm's in front mojo rhythm mojo rhythm's got home to score from al safina and Magnificent Andy darting through close up as well as Let's Gallivant behind those then Black Fantasy Billy Ray deeper out, Weapon Sun playing Marika, Admiration Express she really dropped out there, didn't offer much at all in the run to the line and the last to greet the judge, Ginger Baker great result here for Mojo Rhythm and trainer Mitchell Pateman back at the tail Holly Watson, perfect ride she just allowed the race to unfold, found the three deep line, and this horse's two runs back have both been very, very good. Appreciated, dropping back onto the limit, and in a race which has provided a few surprise results over the last 10 years, here is another. Although, maybe not a big surprise to many. Mojo Rhythm, the playing god five-year-old, Mitchell Pateman and Holly Watson have teamed up in 129.97 to win from one El Safina, Willie Pike. Good trial for next weekend. Got held up behind them, had to work off the back of the eventual winner who was in full flight at that stage. And third will go the way of number four, Let's Gallivant. Magnificent Andy will be fifth home. The interim numbers are 10 1 4 6. 10 1 4 6. Half a length of neck, official margins. Mojo Rhythm's most significant victory here in this Group 3 Peters Stakes. Where does Mitchell Papen go next? By playing God from Saddle Me Up, we'll find out shortly. He'll join us in the yard. The Ms. E. English Ott, D. Ott. They bred this gilding and a great result today with a Group 3 victory. Home in 35-03, beating Al Safina. The star turn mare from Delta G. Willie Pike for Grant and Delana Williams. Just had to steady bide his time and get off their backs. He had no room to go. And in third placing, let's gallivant. Number four by Galar from Secret Crush, Dan and Ben Pierce and Chris Parnham as the place getters make their way back now to the enclosure. Race five, the Lexus of Perth, champion Philly Stakes, the next of the group threes at set weights, 1,600 at seven after three o'clock. There are no changes. Lockie's in the yard and a great effort here by this Gallopin trainer. Mitchell Pateman today with Holly Watson, a calculated ride there on Mojo Rhythm, who delivers a fabulous Group 3 win. Certainly does, Darren. Mitch joins me now. Mitch, it's been a, a bittersweet week for the stable almighty class. He was such a great chance in the Placid Arc later on the day. He came out on Wednesday afternoon, but this boy, I guess that's a, a nice recipe for, for what's been a difficult week for the stable. Yeah, you know, it has been. It's been shocking, to be honest, but um, yeah, that puts a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel, but um, yeah, last Saturday they worked together and there was nothing between them. So, um, yeah, I did. it gave me a lot of confidence bringing him here today down to 54. Um, I must thank Jared. Like, he's worked this horse all prep. Um, he's done everything with this horse. He's probably up. I trained him for me. So um, he couldn't get to the 54 today. But, yeah, we couldn't do it without him.
He's been building towards a win all preparation, perhaps not in a Group 3, but his first two runs this campaign have both been outstanding. Yeah, they've been great, um, without a lot of luck, and I just thought we'd, you know, these races are only here once a year, and um, he was nominated for the railway, so we had to throw at the stumps, and I always knew his ability level was somewhere near this, because he's, you know, his wins have been dynamite, um, and I thought third up, dropping a 54, uh, 1500, it was perfect, so, um, yeah. Now the $1.5 million question, does he take his place in next week's railway stakes? Ten minutes before today's race, he was $126. Yeah, oh, he'll be there. You don't get a ticket into a railway and then knock it back. You know, Obviously, he's going to have to make another huge jump. But um, in saying that, he's beat the railway favourite before today. Um, she's run second to him, so you know he'll be there if um, things go his way. A word on Little Strawberry in the Jungle Miss? Uh, yeah, she's going really well. Wouldn't surprise me if she runs a good race. Um, yeah, love to make it a double. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. There's Mitch Payton. What a wonderful result for the stable. And here's Holly Watson catching up with Scotty Emery. Well, Holly Watson, all of a sudden, this horse has just won an RJ Peters at Group 3 level. But it's more important than that because it means in seven days' time he can get a start in a railway stakes if he pulls up well. And that's what Connections and Mitchell want. First, first and foremost, how do you go 53 kilos? Yeah, easy done. So, no, I'll do it for him. Big tick for that one. Now, this horse today, he was obviously uh, probably not that well suited at the weight scale, but at least today he got a, a, more, a race that was more run to suit a horse like him that can actually finally go and make a run at them. Yeah, obviously the smaller field today helped him a lot, and he's a big drop in the weights. I know he's a step up in grade, but big drop in the weights. So... I, I spoke to Jared Noski before and he said, oh, just try and count to 10. I was counting to 10 and then got to one and I said, I can't hold you anymore. <laughs> At what stage did you start to pull the trigger? Uh, when I seen our Safina caught up in the traffic, I went, I need to make my move now and try and get her held up there. So that was our chance of winning. Tactically brilliant. Now, how excited would it, exciting would it be to go to a barrier draw next Tuesday knowing you've got to ride in a group one? Yeah, pretty exciting. No, uh, oh, it's pretty amazing. Congratulations, whole well done. Thanks, Scott. So there's Holly Watson with Mojo Rhythm taking out the RJ Peters stakes at a decent price to so 10 defeats, 1, 4 and 6. When we return, race number 5 up next, the Group 3 WA champion, Billy Stakes.